Thank you for choosing the Moldex 7000 series. This half mask respirator has been designed for both your protection and comfort. The 7000 is a half mask respirator with a complete line of cartridges and particulate filters to cover a wide variety of work environments and jobs. This video will instruct you on the proper use and maintenance of this respirator. You are responsible to understand and follow all warnings, restrictions, and other information contained throughout this video. You must also read the 7000 user instruction manual before you enter a contaminated work area. Failure to do so and or misuse of this respirator may result in sickness or death. You must comply with your employer's comprehensive respiratory protection program in addition to OSHA and other applicable regulations. Your employer will determine which 7000 size, filter, and or cartridge configurations are appropriate for your use in your working conditions. This respirator can only provide you with protection if it fits you properly and you wear it at all times during exposure to contaminants. The 7000 is approved for use only against the contaminants specified on the approval label, cartridges or filters, and in accordance with all applicable regulations. These contaminants must have good warning properties such as smell, taste, or irritation. Do not use the 7000 series respirator against any contaminants or in any areas not specified or approved by your company's respiratory safety program. Do not remain in a contaminated area if you experience any physical distress such as breathing difficulty, dizziness, or nausea. Leave contaminated area and replace respirator and or cartridge or filter. If it is damaged, distorted, a proper fit cannot be obtained, you taste, smell, or become irritated by contaminants, or breathing becomes difficult. Other warnings and restrictions are found in the 7000 instruction manual, or contact Moldex Technical Service Department for assistance, or call your local Moldex representative. It's important that you inspect your respirator before and after each use. Do not wear and return to your supervisor if head straps are torn, cut, or have lost elasticity, buckles or head cradle are missing, damaged, or broken, face piece is cracked, torn, distorted, dirty, or has holes, inhalation or exhalation diaphragms are missing, torn, damaged, or not properly seated. Cartridges and or particulate filters are at the end of their service life, cracked, damaged, or not properly seated. Any other plastic part is cracked, distorted, or damaged. The Moldex 7000 series respirator can be worn in two different configurations, lockdown and dropdown mode. The 7000 is delivered in the lockdown mode, with the straps underneath the locking tabs located in the strap channel. Adjust the head cradle size so that it rests comfortably on crown of head. Place respirator under the chin and pull the cradle to the top of the head so it rests on the crown. Next, attach the bottom straps directly against the back of your neck. Tighten the top straps first by pulling on the ends, then the lower neck straps until you have a very snug and leak-free fit. Face piece should not be loose or slide up or down nose. If needed, loosen by pushing out on the buckle tab. Do not over tighten. Do a positive or negative user seal check before entering the work area. The 7000 also offers a drop-down mode option. Open valve cover by pulling up on the latch. Pull the straps out from underneath the locking tabs in the strap channel. Close and snap shut the valve cover. Adjust the head cradle size so that it rests comfortably on crown of head. First, attach the bottom straps directly against the back of your neck, then position the head cradle on the crown of the head. Again, tighten the top straps first 
and then the lower neck straps to obtain a very snug and leak-free fit. To remove in drop-down mode, unbuckle lower buckle and drop down the mask. Fold head cradle at living hinges to lay it flat and comfortably behind the neck. You must be fit tested before using the 7000 series respirator and at least annually thereafter using an approved fit testing method. For qualitative fit testing, use Moldex's Bitrex Qualitative Fit Test Kit. For quantitative fit testing, use TSI's port account or an equivalent device together with a Moldex probed cartridge. After donning the 7000, you must do a positive or negative user seal check each time before entering the work area. To perform a negative pressure seal check, gently and without excessive pressure, cover both cartridges. Do not press against them hard enough to push face piece more tightly against face, and gently inhale and hold your breath. The face piece should collapse slightly. If air leakage is detected, readjust the position of the face piece and the tension of both head straps and repeat the seal check until leakage is eliminated. To perform a positive pressure seal check, gently and without excessive pressure, cover the exhalation valve. Do not press against it hard enough to push face piece more tightly against face and exhale gently to create a slight positive pressure. If air leakage is detected, readjust the position of the face piece and the tension of both head straps and repeat the seal check until leakage is eliminated. Warning, if you cannot obtain a proper fit, do not enter the contaminated area and see your supervisor. Make sure you perform a negative or positive seal check and, if needed, adjust harness each time before you enter a contaminated area and periodically throughout the course of the day. Do not wear with any facial hair, such as beards, which may prevent a proper fit. To take off the 7000, unbuckle lower straps. Then pull face piece away from face and remove cradle from head. First, inspect the face piece to cartridge or filter disc sealing surfaces to make sure it's clean and undamaged. Only use cartridges or filters from sealed bags. To attach, align the three notches with the three bayonets protruding from the face piece and firmly turn clockwise until locked into position and unable to turn any further. Check to see that it is seated and flush against the face piece. Next, check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are seated properly. Use Moldex filter discs in piggyback mode on top of cartridges for gas vapor plus particulate protection. First, inspect the sealing surface and gasket of the piggyback adapter to make sure they are clean and undamaged. If seal gasket is broken, cracked, or damaged, replace gasket or entire piggyback adapter. Push the piggyback adapter onto the cartridge until it snaps into place all around the cartridge. Next, inspect the sealing surface of the filter disc number 7940 to ensure it is clean and undamaged. Attach the filter disc to the piggyback adapter by aligning the three notches on the filter with the three bayonets protruding from the piggyback adapter. Turn clockwise until the filter disc is locked into position and is unable to turn any further. Make sure both surfaces are tightly sealed together. Check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are properly seated. Inspect and clean the piggyback adapter each time the filter disc is changed. The 8020 retainer can be used with 7940 
and 7960 filter discs for splash and spark protection. Push the 8020 over the filter disc until it snaps into place. Insert one pre-filter into the 7020 retainer so that the printed side is away from the user's face. Check to see that filter is properly seated, then push the retainer onto the cartridge until it snaps into place. Check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are properly seated. To replace pre-filter, remove expired filter and repeat assembly procedure with a new pre-filter. Use the 7020 filter holder retainer with the 8910N95 or 8970R95 filters only. Two inhale diaphragms are located inside the face piece and the exhale diaphragm is located under the valve cover. Open the valve cover by pulling up on the latch, then remove the diaphragm. Remove the other two diaphragms and inspect all three. Clean and check the diaphragms for dirt, distortion, or any other damage. After washing and inspection, replace all three diaphragms and check to see that they are properly seated. Cleaning is recommended after each day's use or more frequently if necessary. Remove all filters, cartridges, and diaphragms. Remove straps, head harness, and buckles with yoke by turning yoke counterclockwise. Wash face piece in warm soapy water, rinse with clean water, and air dry. Do not clean with solvents or expose to high temperatures. Inspect components and reassemble or replace respirator if worn, damaged, or deformed as these may affect proper fit. To reattach the head harness assembly, align the bayonet inserts, then push gently down and turn clockwise until it clicks home and cannot be turned anymore. Make sure the exhale cover is oriented correctly and open to check that the diaphragm is seated and operating properly. Use only Moldex replacement parts for Moldex respirators. Remember to follow all instructions in the 7000 user manual and your company's respiratory program. For further information on the use of this respirator, contact Moldex at 800-421-0668, extension 512, or at 1310-837-6500, extension 512, or visit moldex.com.